So you have to make an impact on the world. Don't just let life happen. guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so a little update video the clips you just saw were actually from like a month ago but we're just gonna ignore that because i just want to finish this video and actually upload it but quite a bit of things have changed you just saw like a day in my life like going to work doing my cardio and then like a little bit of a lift i did not the whole thing but you get the gist but i think the last time i uploaded a youtube video was like in september and a lot of things have changed since then i've been working at a clinical job to help me get into pa school for about six months now it was full time for a while but now i've cut back to four days a week because i was just going through it um months like november through march it was definitely hard for me at first because like the commute and like full time and working out and everything definitely an adjustment and i was trying to bulk also at the same time took a little too far but then i ended up getting a coach yeah i got a coach it's been going really really well i do want to compete which i don't think i've ever explicitly said but i did kind of decide that it is something i do want to do and i'm going to compete in wellness so that's really exciting i'm really excited just for the whole journey of it and also to kind of share it um i think before when i first started working out and i was kind of exposed to bodybuilding i wasn't that interested because i saw the people work out for a year going to competing look like crap no offense but it's just how it is and i also didn't really know about the wellness division back then and i also kind of had a imposter syndrome towards the fitness industry in general but then as i kind of been watching the sport and following it and I found wellness and I realized that's kind of how I would train to look anyways because I wasn't that drawn to other divisions not that they're not all amazing but that's kind of the conclusion I came to and I just think it really aligns with my personality and like the kind of things I like to do anyways so my camera was running out of storage I had to delete some stuff but as I was saying I kind of have been watching bodybuilding and watching the wellness division kind of following it and I just kind of fell in love with it. And so I decided, you know, why not give it a go? I might have potential in it and see if I like it first. You know, I feel like you can't really know if you want to take something further if you've never even done it before. So, yeah, I just kind of want to do a show, see how it goes. But I definitely want to be the very best I possibly can be when I decide to do it. Like, I don't just want to rush into it. I'm not on a timeline or anything. I'm just doing like what my coach says. And yeah. It's really gotten me fired up again, too, since I got a coach and have been pushing myself a lot harder. I've been in a deficit for a few months now, and I've lost like 10 pounds because I kind of took the bulk a little too far. Um, and that's kind of when I started with my coach, and I was like, you know what? I was like, you know what? I could clean it up a little bit before I hire a coach, but I was like, why? Why, why wait, you know? Yeah, it's going to be a while till I touch down on the stage, but... Um, a lot of growing to be done, especially for wellness. You gotta 
gotta have some thick legs, like muscle-wise. It's not like fat. It's you gotta be real jacked up down there. So yeah, I'll kind of share my journey with you guys and how everything's going. Um, maybe I'll start doing it more regularly now that I don't feel like a whale. I would say that like right now I'm in like a very weird transitional part of my life where I'm trying to apply to this really hard to get into grad school and pursue that whole healthcare career and then trying to manage everything else. But I like, I'm still living at home and it's kind of a rough place to be in, especially when you're in like your hometown and you kind of feel like you're just stuck. No matter like how many accomplishments I, I get or like how much I do or how much I excel in something, I'm always like wanting more and to do more and to be better, which can be a toxic trait. I will say like in my life, because like after I graduated college in three years, I still felt nothing. Like that sounds really bad, but I just, I never really feel that much contentment with anything. And I think that can be negative, so I'm trying to be more present. But that's one of the reasons why I'm really drawn to bodybuilding is because I think even the you know top of the top competitors, they still get feedback in the comments on what they can do better. And there's always room for improvement, which I think is really like my personality. Not to say I can't be lazy sometimes. I really need to apply the same dedication that I apply to bodybuilding to getting into PA school. Yeah, definitely trying to live in the present moment while still trying to get better. Yeah, that was kind of the update, I guess. So we're just gonna keep rolling. I turned 23 also like last week, so happy birthday to me, I'm just getting older. But yeah, um, I'll continue to do videos, hopefully. I don't know what, because honestly, I'm very boring. I said this before, I don't really do that much exciting stuff. I go to work, I work out and then you know, whatever else. I'll see you guys in my next video.